my Capricorn, how are you? This is your general monthly shadow reading. I hope you're all well. If you're returning, thank you very much. And if you're new to the channel, welcome in. We do shadow readings once a month. And that is to work through the parts of us that we don't really want to like and look at because it's a little bit uncomfortable. So let's see what we're doing this month. Respect your boundaries. That's important for the people who are likely to say yes when they really like to say no. Stay strong. And you were born to create. So if you want to do something, you're allowed. You're allowed to put yourself first occasionally, more than occasionally. You are allowed to see your um, desires to create as important as other people's needs. And you are allowed to say so. And if anybody tries to guilt you into doing something, or manipulate you into doing something, you are entitled to stay strong and say no. You know that word, have you heard it occasionally? The no word. Sometimes it takes a bit of practice, but I have proof for you. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the six of earth, which talks about enough for everybody. There's enough time for everybody. There's enough for enough of you for everybody and if they don't like it if they expect more of you than you give to yourself that's unreasonable okay i will lay these out as usual and we will go through them this is the dreams of gaia deck so the the um Parallels between this and the Rider weight are uh, not there, um, as they are with other tarot's. This is set in a different format, so you'll get what I mean as we go along. Ace of Air, <clears throat> the Maiden, King of Water, Ten of Air, Two of Earth. Seven of Water, Perception, Ace of Fire, and the Hero, which is quite nice, because you are the hero of your own story. If you haven't heard of it, look up the Hero's Journey. It, um, it talks about the stages of life and stages of the journey that you go through. So it doesn't just have to be the whole life. It can be um, part of it. It's, it's called the hero's journey and it draws from all the archetype um, of history and archetypal stories throughout history. And it breaks it down to one very um, universal process of going through this um this shadow work so check it out very worth looking up um and it helps explain a lot when you're going through things why are you you know why are you at this stage where you're just so flat you can hardly move why are you excited at this stage all of those um processes anyway back to you ace of ace of air starting something new having a new idea a new direction a new truth a new truth a new way of saying your truth of speaking your truth of what's important to you and standing up for your boundaries another way of saying that or identifying them you might you know you might even even um 
only just be learning about boundaries and how to say them and how to set them up. So it's all about this new way of being clear. And with the Maiden card, this talks about a youthful quality of um, starting something new, not having done this before. You know, um, very, very light of foot, kind of watching how you walk and um, and discovering. But it's a feminine quality, so it's still soft. You don't have to be forceful. Um, you can still be very soft. Now the King of Water comes out here and he's very emotionally mature. He's got it together, but he's cool. He doesn't, you know, in the upright, he doesn't explode in emotions. He's And he's not overly gushy. So this is a really good way to be when you're, you know, first initiating your boundaries. Um, when you're first setting up your boundaries and first, you know, speaking them and putting them in place, it's a very good way to be because depending on how other people react, you could need to stay very cool, calm and collected. You've got the Ten of Air, so that's another way of saying this, this is done, this is over. The way I used to put up with how people spoke to me, how they treated me, the um, beliefs they voiced to me, all of that, I'm not going to carry this anymore. I'm going to, I'm going to allow myself out and I'm not going to carry all this, you know, this belief and ideas that I have to put myself last and, and look after everybody else first. It's done, it's over. And then you've got the Two of Earth, which talks about <coughs> juggling, balancing. Do I do this? Do I do that? How much time do I give each one to get this perfect, you know, cycle going where my life operates smoothly? That's going to be a new thing for you. With the seven of water coming in, it's going to be a little bit confusing at first. Which one do I do? How do I do it? What if I do this? What if I pick that one? And it's it's going to be a little <clears throat> like anything, like learning to drive. It's a bit, try this. Is this balanced or am I going to rev too much or am I going to stall or am I going to take off too fast? And, and all of that, when does the blinker go on? How do I get this so that it's smooth? And, you know, that timing thing, what's more important? Do I blink first or break first? Do I, all of that, that's the process you're going to be going through. So just remember that you learnt to drive or you learnt to walk. Wherever you're up to, you've learnt to do something difficult that took time and practice to get smooth at. That's where you come in, that's what you need to look at in this, this process. Don't forget to use your perception. Now, this isn't just intuition, this is how you perceive things. <clears throat> How do you perceive your role in comparison to others? Are you equal or are you lesser or are you more? Where do you place yourself in that, that, um, that line? You know, um, how do you perceive other people's reactions? Do you perceive them as being unfair and selfish? Do you perceive them as being from fear of change? Do you perceive them um, <clears throat> as being human nature? And <coughs> do you perceive them as your responsibility to fix or their responsibility to learn? This is very important in this process, is how do you perceive things? And that 
that's one of the deepest gutsiest things that we work on through the, the shadow process of is it my perception how can I change my perception how can I look at this differently so you might get overwhelmed you know when we're learning to drive we get a bit overwhelmed kids learning to walk get a bit overwhelmed they plonk down and they have a big cry because it's not they're not able to do what they want to do so this is all part of normal process but once you stop and have a look at your perception no it's not the end of the world if other people can do this so can i so i just need to keep going it's not a failure it's a lesson i'm all right i'm getting there i'm doing well with that belief you will come into the ace of um, fire which is the spark this is the ignition point where for the first time you do something and it flows and you're like oh this is what it's meant to feel like this is what all of that practice and you know bum fuddling around has led to it does work right i'm on the right track and i'm going to keep going that's the fire in your belly that comes after you go ah oh, i've got this it still takes practice so with the hero this is this is like a more um stable version of the knight of wands this is where you come to the hero of your story you have gone through the process you've gone through the depths you've come out the other side you've gone over the hill and fallen down and rolled down and you've picked yourself up and you've come to the end of the path in the beautiful clearing and you're the hero of your story so you are on the right track you are learning what you need to learn you are staying committed to what you want to do and the way you want to go and you're realizing that you weren't here just to carry everybody else you were here for your own creation as well so bear that in mind and be the hero of your own story much love